I, I get involved into open source for more than 20 years since my freshman year. And uh, at first, I just used that pre desktop. And then, from about 1999, my first job, and I start to contribute uh, open source, Man mainly for translations. Uh, some sometimes a, a bit code. I can code. I can code, but I seldom contribute coding. Uh, so we start to contribute, and uh, I joined a project about migrating uh, free software into schools. And of course, uh, for Office Suite, we we always introduce Open Office that time. And for LibreOffice, it's about uh, since 2014 or 15, uh, our our government uh, starts to uh, push the policy using ODF as a national standard format. And uh, I, we, we as an uh, open source promoter, we think it's a very good chance and a very good policy. But I know we know that, of course, the government, uh, one, one is they will, they will face a lot of resistance. And the, the, the second is that they, they may do it in, in a not so correct way. So we have a chance, so we start to uh, cooperate with our National Development Council. That, that's the first level unit in the central government. Uh, uh, for, for, so, so I get involved into liberal office more before we just tell people to use that but then I got even most I helped Iran County and I helped NDC to start to uh, mainly to communicate with people because we know some uh, some key failure effects for example yeah, people don't understand this people don't understand why open source open standard is better and we have many experience talking with uh, those people, for example, in school, teachers and students, and other people that they have no idea about open source, but we have many experience with that. So that so we get a chance and we uh, start to help and need to uh, hold many big explanation sessions uh, about telling people why why we need to use ODF, what's the advantage of that. And uh, what the problem we may face, but what attitude we should have? Yeah. So that. So I think our our, our communication. I think it uh, it it works. So people are starting to accept, and more and more file I, I present today. Yeah. More and more um, files are generated by LibreOffice, and uh, sometimes sometimes Open Office, but most are LibreOffice. Yeah. When advocate LibreOffice, actually, we, we, what we tell people is that uh, use the correct way to generate documents, and the LibreOffice is one of your tools choice, right? We 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 we, are, we don't tell people that you should use the LibreOffice. No, we just tell them that you. First, you need to have the correct concept about how to generate, how to type setting of documents. Sometimes uh, for this, you need to use topic. You need to use heading one, but usually people may just uh, center the, the text and the large, uh, the, put the si uh, uh, font size larger. But I, I will tell them that uh, using the correct way, Either, even you are using Microsoft Office, and we got a DLC X file, that would be better because uh, because uh, Office Suite or we say word processing software, they will treat these things. Usually, if you use the correct way, they will treat things the same way, so the conversion problem will be a lot less. So, our training course, our communication phase. Uh, usually I will focus this concept to people that you have the concept, uh, correct concept and then you have many tools to choose and uh, use under the open standard, under one standard. Now this standard, our, our nation 
we select ODF as the standard. So under the standard, using the correct, correct way, you have many tools to choose. And uh, this year, and last year and this year, I attended uh, ODF Prospects. And uh, as that, that made us understand, OK, this software, uh, when processing ODF, what problem it may raise. And this year, even better, because Microsoft, finally, they, they have to RV attending. So I show them every problem we met to them, and they understand our problem. So we can tell people that, no, hey, we are, we are using ODF. We are not against conventional proprietary software. They are all choice for you. But of course, the software needs to follow the standard correctly. Yeah, so under, under the circumstance, so uh, you have many, many choices. And the uh, LibreOffice, for now, LibreOffice and uh, our own NDC application tool, that's, that's the tool I bring this year to test. Uh, they are better choice for now. And of course, we hope that Microsoft can improve their processing for ODF. And then people have more choice. Not only Microsoft, even that, uh, this, this year in Academy, I also talk about Caligula. Yeah, I also talk about what, what we need in Caligula. I hope, I hope people can have more choice. So uh, that, that, that's the way we advocate about LibreOffice or ODF. Uh, of course, uh, LibreOffice has already been good enough. And of course, they have many things to improve. But to me, it's that how we can make more people understand that LibreOffice is a free software, it's a very good office suite. And the most important is that everyone can together make it better. Anyway, in any way, reporting a bug, right? Reporting a bug, um, writing a documents. Everyone can make it better, and I think we need to make more people understand, and maybe uh, design several workshop or several ways easier for people, especially those who have no any experience about open source. They, they may not know how open source community works, but at least following this, we on, uh, in, in a workshop, they can do contribution. And of course, we can highlight the contribution. But I hope, uh, what I, I think what LibreOffice needs is to make more and more people understand this. Everyone can make it better. It's free software. <laughs>